Miss Huxtables. Today I'm coming to you with an update on my curly hair. I went this past weekend to the Black Hair Kitchen Black Hair Expo here in Washington DC. Um, just to give you a reminder, if you would like, you can follow me on Instagram. I have the same name, Modern Mrs. Huxtable, and there you can get updates about what I'm doing um, out and about because I can obviously like post a picture on my phone or what I'm doing a lot easier than filming a whole video since I didn't get a chance to make a video saying that I was going to the Black Hair Expo some people said like oh I wish I had known that you were there I saw you there I was afraid to say hi or I didn't want to I didn't know if I should come up to you so just to let you know if you want to follow me on Instagram you can to all those who saw me and didn't say hi or were like is that her I don't know well our paths will cross again next time say hi and Love to all of you all. It was such a beautiful event. It was so nice. Um, they had seminars. I know they had like four YouTubers that were featured that helped, I think, co-sponsor the event, one of which being Mahogany Curls, whose channel I really like. So it was, it was a great event. They had a lot of vendors. It was the first black hair expo that I've been to, and it certainly won't be the last. And, and someday I hope to be a vendor myself or, or speak at one as well. It was so, so cool. So much information. The, I sat in on a talk that was just talking about in ingredients, a talk about natural hair styling. So it was, it was so affirming, so positive, and so great. It was really, really awesome. So just wanted to show you guys. Um, they gave away these, um, these cloth bags that say Black Hair Kitchen. From I think they're models from the kitchen sink to the hair salon. And then they gave away, um, all types of little free samples from these sponsors. So um, Eden Body Works was a sponsor and they gave away stuff. Uh, this is Curls Unleashed. Um, what else did they have? I want to try this. This is the Curls Cashmere Curls. I think it's like a styling oil or moisturizer. So they gave away all different stuff. And then Talia, Talia Wajid, I've never tried her hair care product line before, but I'm definitely interested in trying it now. What I want to try from hers is the um, the Curly Curl Cream, and they gave away a sample, but they didn't have any full-size products available there, so I wasn't able to purchase it, and this is probably going to be like a little swig for my hair. <laughs> my hair is going to be like, girl, you need more than that. So, um... I got free samples and she also has a detangler, the great detangler, which is a really cool name. So I might try that as well because I love detanglers. So I just got all these cute little products and stuff. I might try to do it on a little patch in my hair to see what I think to give you guys feedback because um, these probably won't be enough to do my whole head. But just wanted to tell you, if you have, be sure like look online. Um, there's a website called I Don't Do Clubs, I think it's called, .com and she tells you a lot of... Um, different events going on near you in different cities like hair expos, concerts, different events. So just giving you a shout out before the summer's over, um, check to see if your local city is having a hair expo or hair event. It's a great place to meet people, network, get products at a discounted rate, get samples. So just to let you guys know, um, I was at that and I loved it. So at that hair expo, the only thing that I purchased in full size that I was able to get my hands on when I was able to get there because I was late because I had to work before it was um, the Eden Body Works. So I think the Eden Body Works line started out with tea tree oil and pepper, a tea tree and peppermint line. But now they've branched out into a variety of other different lines within their company. And the newest one the woman was explaining to me is the um, Coconut Shea line. So this is the all natural pudding souffle. And I used this on, I did some twists in my hair, which I'll have to make a video for. I have so many videos to make for you guys. Um, on some two-strand twists. And I just put this on each section before I twisted. And my hair felt so just soft and luscious. And I really like this product. So I, I've never tried anything from the Eden Body Works line before. And I know a lot of people like the Peppermint Tea Tree Shampoo. And this is how it looks on the inside. This is how much, you can see I go through products. Well, this is how much I use thus far. And it's creamy. And um, the first two, the first ingredients are water, and then aloe vera, aloe vera leaf juice, then sale alcohol, and then not too far from that is shea butter. So the ingredients are pretty good. Um, it's a water-based product. So just wanted to put that out there for you guys to try. And she told me, because so, a lot of times in my videos, people are like, oh, I don't like shopping online to pay shipping and handling, or could you tell me cheaper products? So she told me that this is going to be carried in Walmart. 
I know, I just remember Walmart, because I was like, oh, wow, okay, in Walmart. But I think it's going to be carried, and the line is carried in other stores, like Target, maybe um, uh, pharma pharmaceutical stores, I think. And at the Hair Expo, what, another cool thing was this was only $6, which was great. Uh, so I'm not sure how much this is going to retail when it gets into stores. I'm sure more than that. But um, it might be a cheaper alternative for those that are interested. So I want to share that with you guys. And I just I just wanted to give you guys an update on products that I'm using since it's summertime and humidity and wearing the hair curly. So I went to the beauty supply and I ran out of my Be Mine Behold Curly Butter. You can watch my video where I say like update on natural curly hair products or natural curly hair products because I loved all the products that I talked about in that video as well, I'm just out of them. And so these are things that I was able to get in stores while I'm waiting for my other things to come from ordering online for shipping. So I ran out of the Be Mine Curly Pudding, the Behold Curly Pudding, loved it. I love this product, but to my knowledge, it's not sold in stores. So, um, yeah, and I got the Island Mango flavor, and I think I said in that video I didn't know if I cared for it, but it actually really grew on me, and I loved it. So check that out if you would like. And I ran out of that, so I went to the Beauty Supply, and they had the Jane Carter solution, which I'm sure a lot of you have known, because she, her company was really one of the first companies in natural hair care products a while back. Like, I know they've had it at Whole Foods and Target for a while. So I got the Curl Defining Cream. And it comes in a pump like this, which is really great because a lot of times when you're styling your hair for a, a wash and go, your your hands are wet. And sometimes that can cause, it's never happened to me before, but like bacteria, like the water mixing with the products can sometimes contaminate them a little bit. So I like that the pump, you just pump it into your hands and then you're not getting water or oils or grease like in the product itself. So that was a cool idea. I've never seen a pump one before. So, um comes in a pump like that. At my beauty supply, it was $33.99, but it's a pretty big size. I know this is the larger size of it. And the awesome thing was, I was in the beauty supply and they had a whole section now for natural hair care. And in my binder, you guys saw I do research, there's like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of natural hair companies. So even me, I was getting overwhelmed. Like there are so many products, I don't know what one to choose. So I looked on the back of her products. I'm like, I've never tried this before. Let me see. And she has bomb ingredients in this. If you guys watch my pre-poo video, you know I talk about, in the pre-poo, I talked about putting like burdock root, uh, I think I put stinging nettle in it, like I talked about using herbs and roots in addition to oils. Well, I've never found a like hair styling curly cream that uses like root, roots and herbs, which are so nourishing and so great for the hair, in the product itself. And I know for a fact from experimenting with making things myself, it's expensive. So, um... So just so that you're not sticker shots with that price and think like, well, that's way too much because th this really is a quality product. This is a quality product with quality ingredients. And I really have not seen, uh, other than like, I think Kemet Biologics and another company, um, which I'll get back to you, I'll put in the next video, um, that uses like really great herbs and roots in the, and, and Ayurvedic herbs and stuff in the ingredients. And a lot of times when I try to order online, they're sold out. So long story short, um, I just wanted to touch on, I don't know if this is really small print, if this will show up, but um, this is the ingredient panel down here. There's purified water serving as the first ingredient, which is great. And then I wanted you guys to just see there's comfrey, there's nettle, there's shea butter, there's um, chamomile, there's horsetail. Um, what else did I want to mention? Avocado, oil. So the ingredients in this are just really, really great and really, really worth it. And if you start to watch like all my videos or if you've watched all my videos, you'll find that the things that I'm talking about in terms of ingredients to look for in vitamins to take internally will also cross over to things that you can apply topically on the hair. So if you notice when I was talking about stinging nettle root and things like that, look for those vitamins, you'll find that in good products or products that you make yourself, you can create yourself as I showed you how to do in the pre-poo video, those are the ingredients to look for. And I, I was just really blown away by this. Um, I just thought it was so awesome. So like I said, I've never tried our company before, but this is a great product to, to try. 98% ingredients. Um, it's just really great, really great product. Uh, it's vegan, hair color safe. It won the Essence 2011 Beauty Awards and another Beauty Award on here. So I really liked this one. 
um what oh two things about this one though my hair texture you see the curl that it has this I will say it's not the most defining of a product. It's very creamy um, based, like a, like a cream. It's not really thick or um, pudding, like a heavy pudding like. So for some people that have a tighter curl pattern, I don't know that this would bring about the best curl definition for you, just, just to put it, put it out there so you're not um, disappointed. But what I will say about this product is the shine that you get from this product is incredible. The shine was amazing. I put this on my hair. My hair was just a beautiful, shiny, vibrant black. And my my hair isn't even naturally like fully black. And that's why I do the um, Luscious Indigo and Henna dye because I like it to be powerful black. But this was the shine on it was incredible. I've I've never used a styling part like this that produced that amount of shine. It was. And it's just like the proof is in the pudding with this one on the ingredients. It's really worth it. So I really like this one. And I recommend if you have maybe a tighter curl pattern, perhaps using this as the base product and then following it up with like the kinky curly um, curling custard or eco styler gel if, if you care for that. Like a um, more custardy jelly based product to get the definition that you want. But this has wonderful ingredients and incredible shine and is super moisturizing. So I did not know about this either and I was like I have to make a video for them telling them about this. And then the other thing that I bought recently that I've never tried before, I've never tried this line, is the um, Aunt Jackie's Curls and Coil and not on my watch. The beauty supply was sold out of Kinky Curly Knot today which made me have a sad face because this is my creamy crack. <laughs> I love the Kinky Curly Not Today Detangler. I just, I, I live for it. It's just amazing. So you see, once again, I'm almost out of this bottle. Love this. They were out of, sold out of this. So I got, I tried the Not On My Watch. Um, is this considered? The Instant Detangling Therapy is what it's called. Not On My Watch. So you can see the consistency it's kind of a really creamy loose I, I've pretty much used all of this as well <laughs> it's a pretty creamy loose consistency conditioner detangler and it's not bad the not today is still my favorite because I like mucusy slimy um, detanglers that get a really good slip because it helps glide the comb through a lot easier so I can't say that this one is designed in that same format but it has pretty good product shea butter and olive oil um, yeah, the products weren't, yeah, the sec the third product is shea butter, so it had good good ingredients and sulfate-free, paraben-free, no mineral oil, no petroleum. So I just wanted to put it out there as something to try if you guys are interested in. It was it was a moisturizing conditioner and fared fairly well with the detangler. You could even maybe mix some with the Knot today if you wanted to try something new. So I, the name is cute, not on my watch, and that's a new one that I, that I tried. And then the only but goodie, I went ahead and got some more Kinky Curly Curling Custard. Oh, because also with the Eden Body Works, this one also, the Pudding Souffle, I think they have a curly pudding one, which would probably produce a stronger hold for a tighter curl pattern, but this one's a little bit more loose. So I got it to do like twist outs and um, twists on my hair, but if I want to use it for a wash and go, which is actually what I did this morning, I washed my hair and put this on first, I would use it with a, a more holding product. So I use this first and then the curling custard on top of it. And if you watch my curly hair routine where I walk you through each step of that process, I think in step four of it I talk about using a like moisturizing product and then using a holding product. So trying to find things depending on your texture and curl type that will create the look that you want while still moisturizing and conditioning the hair. So you can watch that video if you haven't before to get more insight on choosing those things. So those are the latest yeah, those are all the products that I've gotten most recently, and I just had when I was wearing this, I'm like, this I have to, I have to tell my viewers because the shine is amazing. So, and then I was like, I went to the hair expo, and I, I'm like, oh, my hair's so soft. So I wanted to come tell you guys about those things, and also I'm gonna make a separate video because I know this is gonna be long, and I'm trying to make my videos more short. But um, talking about vitamins, 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 vitamins. I um have been getting so much, um, so many messages and so much feedback, and. I try to respond to each of you individually, the messages and comments, but I'm like, I need to make an update just in general and in educating you more about vitamins on the whole and talking about my regimen now. So I just wanted to give you a sneak peek, look at the vitamins I purchased just yesterday at Whole Foods, and I'll be making a separate video discussing them more in depth. A lot more videos probably about vitamins. So 
wanted to touch on first, wait, for that, water. Water is so important. It's getting hot outside. I think the past few days here in D.C. it's been like over 100 degrees. So make sure you're staying hydrated, ladies. Make sure you're drinking water. It's great for the skin. It's great for, it's great for your overall health when you're losing a lot of water and sweating throughout the day. Just make sure you stay hydrated. And I wanted to mention to you as a segue into the vitamins, um, I like Fiji water. It's on sale right now at Whole Foods, the big bottles like this. And I try to drink at least like one of these a day. And I wanted to bring to your attention, one of the reasons why I like Fiji is because um, in their filtering system, and hopefully my camera will, will zoom in enough here. Please work with me, please work with me. Okay, yeah, so silica is present within this form of water. And so silica is a great, um, a great supplement linked to hair growth and that comes in different forms like horsetail, bamboo silica and I'll make a separate video about that so that you understand the different source origins but it's very important to me and I feel like I uh, haven't talked about it yet investigating the source origins of vitamins so I just want to show you this is one that I really really like this company and only this company and one other I'll have it in that video that I know use plant-based whole food based plants as the source for their vitamins. Nothing replaces the beauty and the power and the strength of nature. When people send me, my, there, there's no vitamin that, that can accurately mimic and, and that your body can recognize and process and utilize and get nutrients from in the same capacity as eating a carrot, as eating an apple, as eating fresh raw kale. There, there's none. So the closest, in my opinion, that you can get in terms of supplements, because this is a whole um you know line of 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 art i don't want to say artificial but supplemental supplemental dietary health is trying to find companies that are whole food plant based so as you see on this it says um whole food multivitamin mineral dietary supplement uh fresh from farm to table okay these are all their certifications they are gluten free vegetarian uh soy free dairy free farm fresh non gmo so non-genetically modified and if you look on here the source origins for the vitamins so like vitamin c source which is what comes in the parentheses after oranges vitamin e source organic brown rice folate broccoli biotin organic brown rice and then there's a whole bunch of a whole bunch of incredible herbs and roots in here but i just wanted to bring your attention also because these are on sale at whole foods they're regularly retail at 42.99 they're on sale for 33 dollars like nine dollars off so it's the mega food brand skin nails and hair vitamin so if you're interested they're on sale at whole foods now so check these out um and then let me just show you real, real quick the other things that I got at Whole Foods. The uh, nail, hair, and skin connection I got. It has horsetail and faux tea in it. Mainly got it because it has faux tea. And I'm just committed to giving you guys the best, the best knowledge I can based on my personal use. So I'm going to go ahead and start taking these so I can see or try to see about the faux tea element in them. I got the hair, skin, and nails. Whole Foods brand because I had a wonderful subscriber send me a message about how she's been drinking carrot juice and like I said raw juicing raw foods trumps vitamins any day I'm a firm believer and I have to make a video on juicing too for you guys but she was saying carrot juice has really linked to hair growth for her and she was just wondering or inquiring and absolutely so I wanted to show you within this vitamin um it has carrot can we focus? Yes, okay, carrot powder, dandelion, horsetail, once again, the silica, uh, green tea, blueberry. So I just wanted to show you another option at a different price point for getting some of the supplemental vitamins that you might wanna take in conjunction to another brand. And then I also got Pajium and Saw Palmetto. I'll talk about this more in another video, but Pajium, and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I don't know. If, I don't know if it's Pygium or Pygium. I'm not gonna lie, but if it says the source origin, it's Prunus Prunus Africanus. And in my research, I've been finding that this this herb has been linked and used throughout Europe to address male pattern baldness. And if you see this one, is it says European standards. Um, on this but the source origin is the bark of a tree a bark the bark of an african tree and so i'm i'll get to it in the next video please subscribe so that you can get, so that you can get video updates about my videos and please keep watching love you guys hope all is well peace and many many blessings bye